Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is called Alias. This is a 45% ABV, no wage statement, straight rye whiskey. Now this is one of those new bottles that started showing up on the shelf here and it really caught my eye. This striking black bottle just really, I was like, what is going on here? I've never seen this before and I've only found it at one place. And I, so I looked on the back here and it tells me it's distilled by Ross and Squibb Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Now that should have been a real big red flag to most people, but if you don't know, um, Ross and Squibb is actually the new distillery name that MGP is calling itself or its sub brands, uh, which we see George Remus and several other bottles that MGP is releasing under their name is coming from this distillery. So this is in-house made essentially because it is coming from MGP. Uh, and we actually know the mash bill they used on this, which is a 51% rye, 45% corn, and then 4% malted barley. So I don't know. There was something just so curious about this bottle that I had to grab it. And it was at one of those good prices to try it. So as always, we're going to try it two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a drop of water, see what changes up. And one cool thing I was like, so where'd they get the name from? Uh, the name is actually from giving homage to female in the distillery fields that back in the day where women couldn't be in that field, they would pick up an alias name. They would pick up men's names or names that were more commonly associated with men so they could keep doing what they wanted to do, which is be in the distillery world, but under a different name. So kind of a cool idea there. I really like that homage to that. And again, this black bottle, is gorgeous i love that and we went cork style wow we're pulling out the stops here on this one and again it was at that right price point that i was like hmm, i'll take a risk got a nice light color to it again we don't know the age on it but it does look good very light colored a little yellow tinge going on there well Let's go for notes. Oh yeah, smells like a beautiful light rye. Mm. A little herbal in there. Nice rye spice. Yeah, a little fruity character. Like a, just a bowl of, I wouldn't say, wouldn't quite say like a fruit cake mix, but like the innards, like if you took some fruit and mixed it in with some spices. Yeah. Mm little freshness going on there. Ooh, well, hold on, what's that? Now I'm getting a green apple, like a Granny Smith apple tartness. Yeah, mm. ABV does show up a little bit, but it's really not off-putting at all. Yeah, mm. Oh yeah, but not a nice solid rye, nothing painted outside the lines on it, pretty solid. So let's go for taste. Drinks a little thin, but very fruity. A little spice, but fruit for days. Holy crap, it's almost like juicy fruit, fruit quality to it. The back left side, or yeah, back left side of my tongue is getting nothing but just sweet fruit. A little sugary sweetness in there. Mmm, kind of liking that. A little caramel, a little vanilla. I love that fruit sweetness in there. Mm. It's almost fruit juice quality sweetness. Mm. A little bit of oak. Yeah, you get spice, vanilla, caramel, and then in kicks in that juicy fruit sweetness here that rides and rides and rides. It gets a little bit of oak, but that juiciness just keeps going. That ain't half bad. Wow. Color me surprised. A whiskey from MGP is decent. And I'm not, I'm being honest, like, like MGP is one of the most common things when it comes to rye that we find. 
especially in the big brand names. So for them to produce a good rye is not surprising. But again, this is painting outside a little differently than what we're used to. We're used to like bullet rye, which is the 95% rye. So pulling back on that rye and going more of that corn in there really does change it up quite a bit. I love that fruit sweetness. Okay, oh, got a little spillage. Do love the bottle as well. I, to take the time while the neck of, or the head of itself is, is clear, I love that they took the time to make that a solid black bottle. It's not wrapped. Really shocked me on that. See what a little water does. Beans that it was fairly mute on are very soft in most of the flavors. I'm hoping that the sweetness kicks up a little bit more. So let's go for notes. Yeah. Ooh, man, that's a that's a drastic difference. Juicy fruit gum sweetness for days. Yeah. This has all the spice characteristics to it. This, you don't get as much of the spice character. Just fruit sweetness, a little vanilla in there. But I get juicy fruit gum. Okay, let's go for taste. Yeah, 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 that's exactly what it is. It's still juicy fruit gum. It loses out on a lot of the character that bit of oak is not there as much it was barely here on the neat version the water version you're getting nothing but sweet in my opinion sweet juicy fruit gum maybe a little bit of charriness in there but not as much oak so i'd go like fruit sweetness from start to finish of that juicy fruit sugary gum quality a little bit of oak at the end and a little bit of charriness at the beginning with a little bit of maybe a bit of caramel and vanilla dash throughout the center but it lost a lot of the the spice characters maybe a little mintiness is in there as well that's possible yeah maybe a little mintiness just a little bit of that mint herbal going on, but it's very, in my opinion, it's very covered up by that fruit juice quality. Mm. That surprised me. I didn't expect that kind of a rye in this bottle. All right, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's always got to vary. Uh, this is actually priced at $30. And again, I found this at Walmart. Uh, a new bottle. It looks like it just came out here in May of 2020. Yeah, you know, for 30 bucks, you could do a lot worse. In my market, usually, you know, I can find Bullet for about 28 to 30 dollars. Sometimes as low as 25. Sometimes as high as 32. Uh, for 30 bucks, that ain't half bad. I would be fine paying 30 bucks for it. Their website says they're listing it for like you can order it through them for like 27. But then you have to pay for shipping and all that kind of stuff. For $30, I think that's a pretty darn good buy. It's simple and it's soft. If you're not big in the rye, I think this is a good stepping stone for rye people. Pulling back on that rye build quality versus the 95 that they're kind of known for, going that 51% in there, really pulling that back and going more simplistic. I like that. It's sweet, it's juicy, it's fruity. It's got some good characters going on. I would be, you know, be okay to pay like 20 or like 35 bucks for it, I think would be the top of my dollar. But 30 bucks, I don't have any arguments with it at all. I think it's nice and simple. So yeah, there you have it. Alias Straight Rye Whiskey. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. I am always on the hunt for something unique and fun to try. And as always, May your last trick of the night be the best one.